Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to spin up a MemSQL cluster in Vagrant. Vagrant is a great tool that allows us to use configuration as code to spin up virtual machines. In production, we'll probably want more than just one virtual machine. We'll want many virtual machines and we'll probably want to configure them with a tool like Terraform. But as a dev-friendly single node cluster, Vagrant to spin up a single Linux virtual machine is perfect. So today we're going to go to memsql.com slash download. We're going to create a new license. We'll log into the portal to go grab that license. We'll install Vagrant, create a Vagrant file, that configuration as code, and the shell scripts that we need to provision memsql as that Vagrant box boots up. We'll then launch that Vagrant machine, log into memsql studio, and create some data. Ultimately, when we're done, we can just say Vagrant destroy to delete that virtual machine. So let's begin. memsql.com slash download will get us to the place where here at the bottom of the page we can fill out our name, our company email, and click continue. We'll get an email asking us to confirm our email address. Once we've confirmed, we'll go straight to the portal. Here from the portal, portal.memsql.com, we can click on licenses, and here's my free tier license. This will give me up to four machines of 32 gigs each, and we're only going to use one machine here, so that's perfect. Next up, let's go install Vagrant. I'll go to vagrantup.com and click on Downloads, and then download the version of Vagrant specific to my machine. I'm on a Windows machine, so let's download the 64-bit version of Vagrant. MemSQL is a 64-bit process, so we'll want to make sure that we're using 64-bit all the way through. Vagrant allows us to spin up virtual machines on our hypervisor of choice, so we can go to virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox for our operating system. If you're on Windows and you're using Hyper-V, Hyper-V and other virtualization platforms don't play very well together. I turned on Hyper-V by going to Control Panel. I chose to turn Windows features on or off, and I checked Hyper-V. Once I checked Hyper-V, it invited me to reboot, and now I've got Hyper-V ready to go. So next up, let's go provision the content that we need. First step is we need to create a Vagrant file. Now this is Vagrant file, not vagrantfile.txt, and this Vagrant file is the configuration as code that allows us to identify the machine's details. We'll set the provider. In this case, I chose Hyper-V, but you could just as easily choose VirtualBox. Then I'm going to configure that provider, giving it four CPUs and four gigs of RAM. We're also setting the max memory because this Ubuntu box is set with a max memory of two gigs. MemSQL is definitely eager to use as much memory as we can give it, so if you can give it eight gigs, then that's great as well. For Hyper-V only, I'll enable the virtualization extensions. Other providers like VirtualBox don't need this. I've chosen to base this based on the generic slash Ubuntu 1904 image because this image is available for VirtualBox, for Hyper-V, for VMware, and for lots of other virtualization providers. Once we've got the basics of our Vagrant box configured, then let's get to configuring it for MemSQL. I'm going to start off by saying I would like to sync the current folder, the folder that this Vagrant file is in, as the slash Vagrant folder inside that box. That means that all of our provisioning scripts are ready and available for the machine. Next up, I want to run this provision.sh script, and I want to run it as privileged, meaning as root. Next up, I'll run this second script without root, because this Vagrant start will need to run as a particular user. So let's look at provision and start.sh. We go to the docs for memsql. We can see that we can choose either Red Hat or Debian. Ubuntu is a Debian-based system. So here in the Debian system, we have all of the install steps to get memsql running on Ubuntu. I've collected each of those steps into this provision.sh. And so you can grab this provision.sh from the GitHub gist linked in the video description. So to start off, we're running as root, so we don't need to sudo each command, but we're going to go grab the memsql gpg key. We're going to install apt transport https so that we can install packages as https. We'll go grab the apt key for memsql app update will update all of our package references and then we'll install three tools memsql toolbox memsql client and memsql studio 
MemSQL Studio is that browser-based tool that allows us to monitor our cluster's health and also look at run SQL queries and look at the contents of our databases. MemSQL client we won't use today, but this is a command line client that allows us to look, do similar things. MemSQL Toolbox is the database provisioning tool that will allow us to create a MemSQL cluster. Next up, let's start MemSQL Studio as a service. And that's all the commands that we'll run as root. Next up, we'll run start.sh. And we're running this not as root, we're running this as a particular user. We'll start by exporting our license key. We got that license key from the portal. And so you can paste your license key right here to start up your cluster. MemSQL deploy in cluster in a box mode will spin up a cluster that has one master aggregator and one leaf node running on the same machine. We'll pass in our license and we'll say yes to confirm that we're ready to start. So with those in place, let's go start our cluster. In the folder where we have our Vagrant file and the other content, let's say Vagrant up, and it will start to build that machine. On Hyper-V, the first thing that it'll prompt us to do is to say which network card should it use. So I'm gonna choose the first network card, and now that VM is starting to boot. I'm going to go into Hyper-V and watch that VM boot because it's kind of entertaining to see the content go by. The machine is starting to boot. And really quickly we'll get to a login box. As with all Vagrant boxes, the username is Vagrant and the password is Vagrant and that'll allow us to log in. Let's log in. I'm going to ping the host machine. To kind of help the network card get started. We'll grab this IP address. That'll be helpful later. 192.168.184.166. That's our machine's IP. It's asking to share the folder from our host machine. So let's log in and allow it to create that SMB share to share those provision and start scripts with the Vagrant box. Now it's running that provisioner script. Here's the apt commands. We're grabbing the package list, installing MemSQL Client, MemSQL Studio, and MemSQL Toolbox. It grabbed the latest versions of each. That's perfect. Now we're running that script to start up the cluster. That downloads the latest version of the executable, deploying the master aggregator, deploying the leaf node, our cluster is ready to go, and our, we get our terminal back. So we grab that IP address of the machine, let's head off to a browser, we'll go to that port 8080, and here's MemSQL Studio. Now, so far, MemSQL Studio doesn't know about the cluster running. Let's add a new cluster. The host name is localhost. The port is 3306. Our password, our username is root, and our password is blank. We didn't create a username or password, so we're just using the default cluster in a box configuration. We'll make this a development machine. Dev MemSQL dev memsql and after we've answered all the questions then the submit button lights up and now we've connected to our cluster. So we see those two nodes are healthy. We'll switch over to the SQL editor and let's start to create some content. We'll 
Let's create the database test. We'll use the test database, create a table with a message and an auto-incrementing primary key, insert some content into that message. Let's go get the primary key of that row that we just inserted. We inserted primary key row one. And so let's go select that data back out. Here's that primary key one and our message, hello world. Here on the right is some great tutorials that allow us to dig in deeper to understand MemSQL and to use it better. So we've done great things with our Vagrant box. Now that we're done with our experiment, we can say Vagrant halt to just pause our machine and come back to it later. Or we can say Vagrant destroy to delete the machine and then it will be reprovisioned from scratch, grabbing the latest version of MemSQL Studio next time we're ready to play. Now I'm going to continue this experiment, so I'll leave my MemSQL cluster running. We got to grab a free license for MemSQL. We installed Vagrant and created the Vagrant file and the shell scripts to provision it. Vagrant up got us a machine that was ready to go. We logged into MemSQL Studio on port 8080 and created some data in our database. Ultimately, Vagrant destroy or Vagrant halt allows us to power down that machine. You can sign up at memsql.com slash download and get started today.